Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to talk about side slipping. Side slipping is a way to descend and lose a lot of altitude really quickly at a controlled airspeed. So uh, it's most useful um, when you arrive in an airport too high or maybe in a crosswind landing. So for instance, let's say if I'm going to land at this runway for instance and I want to get down really quickly so pushing the nose over is a very bad idea because then again your pitch controls the speed so by pushing over the airspeed is going to run out of control, out of control. so what I would do is slow it down to about a comfortable airspeed maybe 90 knots and then trim off the aircraft and what I would do is I will push on the rudder full deflection to the right in this instance and then give a little bit of left aileron and just pitch for 90 knots so what's essentially happening is that I'm losing a lot of altitude really quickly without losing control of the airspeed okay I'll show you what it looks like from the outside so you can see full rudder deflection and left aileron so this is very useful if you need to lose altitude really quickly on approach or in a circuit if you arrive too high so what essentially is happening is that because the control surfaces are deflected almost to its maximum it creates a lot of drag it sort of acts like speed brakes um, on an airliner when you want to increase the rate of descent without um, losing control of the airspeed. So what I'll do now is I'll show you. Um, as you can see, I'm way too high on approach. So let me just bring the flaps down, slow it down to the final approach speed, and attempt to land um, without overstressing the aircraft. So what I'll do is we'll slow it down to about 70, 70 knots as you can see I'm too high so what I'll do is I'll go right rudder left aileron and if you look at my vertical speed yeah it's about 1200 feet per minute descent rate so just be mindful that when you're doing this don't overdo it or you hit the ground so you can see that my airspeed is still under control, I'm sort of going towards the runway. My airspeed is fine, that's my final approach speed. So when I'm high enough and I'm happy, all I need to do is wait out the correct airspeed, reduce the rudder, and there we go, just like that. And then go ahead and land the aircraft like you would. So that's it. Well, thanks for watching. Hope that was useful. And I'll see you guys later.